Hello, I'm Dr. Sun Oh Chung, Acting Chair of the Department of Oral Health Sciences. We are a unique department within the School of Dentistry, combining a clinical component of dentistry with other areas important to oral health that do not fit naturally in the other clinical departments. Faculty members in our department have expertise in diverse fields that include biomechanics, behavioral science, public health, biostatistics, neuroscience, molecular biology, immunology, and microbiology. In addition to these research activities, other important role our department has is in the education of dental and graduate students. We offer the only PhD program in the dental school, have a dual degree program that lets students pursue both DDS and PhD, and provide a special degree track for dental hygienists to pursue an advanced degree. Thanks to the tireless efforts of our diverse body of faculty, staff, and students, our department is a welcoming community to attract and educate the leaders who are making contributions to new advances in sciences that are changing and improving oral and overall health. The Oral Health Sciences Department at the University of Washington School of Dentistry is a really exciting place to be. Uh, we combine people who are doing both translational research, epidemiology, and basic science like I am. A lot of us are clinicians, but a lot of us aren't, and we try to bring this really collaborative environment together. Our lab carries out basic research on the genetic underpinnings of orofacial cleft, a structural birth defect that comprises cleft lip, cleft palate, or a combination of the two. This disease affects approximately 1 in 700 newborns worldwide. Both genetic and environmental factors contribute to its pathogenesis. Human geneticists have identified regions on certain chromosomes that are associated with elevated risk for orofacial cleft. However, the specific DNA variants within these regions that directly affect such risk are unknown. Our lab uses cell lines and zebrafish embryos to identify these causal DNA variants and to learn how they affect development of the face. We believe this work will hasten the design of precision therapies that will reduce the risk of orofacial cleft in families that are predisposed to it. My research specifically right now focuses on the role of one of the phosphate transporters in bone and tooth development and repair. That's important because we want to know more about processes that govern um, how our teeth actually develop, what makes them hard, what makes them softer, and then actually bone as well. So as people get osteoporosis or if they have disorders like diabetes or hyper or hypophosphatemia, we actually need to know why their bones are affected, why they're softer, why they're maybe harder, or why we're seeing bone formation in places like vasculature. Uh, for us, that's, these are all critical questions because as a dentist, I work with bone and teeth almost every day. So science is, uh, is a really important aspect to what we do in dentistry. You know, the decisions we make in clinical settings, uh, the types of interventions we do in communities with underserved populations, uh, really almost everything we do in dentistry um, should be driven by the best available science. And this is really where research comes into play. Research helps us to generate uh, new knowledge and new evidence uh, that will ultimately uh, hopefully be used to drive uh, better patient care and better programs for vulnerable populations. And all of this is, is underpinned by science, um, scientific uh, questions and hypotheses, uh, using the best available methods to study and answer these questions, and ultimately using this knowledge to help drive therapies and programs. And that really is our goal here. Uh, within the department and within the School of Dentistry is to do science that matters, that has impact.